All right, guys, so I thought it was about time we try something different. So today we're going to be trying winter poncho tarp camping. All right, I've been wanting to get some more time in with these ponchos. That way we can do, you know, our six month reviews, but we got to put them through their paces. Now, I'm also not dumb enough to take this out in the middle of winter, way out in the back country to where if it fails or like it looks above rains or snows and get caught out there miles and miles and miles and have to wake up in the middle of the night, pack up all my gear and hike miles and miles out. That's not how you test stuff. So we've come back on our property here. I'm going to take this, string it up, and we're going to do an overnight under it and we're going to see how it does. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe this will be my new thing. I know that if summer comes and I'm gonna be sleeping under this, I'm gonna get a bug bivy because I don't enjoy getting bit by bugs while I'm asleep. So come along, let's see how this goes. I'll get it set up, we'll get all the bedding down and I'll talk you through exactly what I'm using tonight and exactly what I'm eating. All right, guys, so it's a pretty simple setup. I played with it some because I didn't like the first way, but all I did was sharpen a stick here because I only brought one trekking pole out and just staked it out. And you come across the other front. You can see the trekking pole there. And what I've done is, that is the tie out for the Land Shantu. If you don't use the outer fly, I just wrapped it around there and the two points on the end that are already attached make perfect guy outs. So on the back here, You can see I just attached the corner and I'm letting it float out to there. Over here, the middle is just guide out till it's tight. And the final corner is ground. I want that corner pinned there because if it rains or snows, it'll send everything downhill because that goes downhill. And that should throw off all the rain downhill pretty much. Now I may have some come from over here up in there but I'll be up on my mat so it shouldn't be that much of an issue if some comes from there all right guys so tonight for dinner chicken and waffles it's gonna be really good if you guys haven't seen how we made this go check that video out I'm telling you good stuff so it's going to be a little windy tonight. We already know that. I've already checked the weather. There's a chance of rain and snow, depending upon what the temperature does, because it's just going to play around that freezing mark, around 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm pretty protected here in this little corner. I feel like it's a good place to be. I feel like I'm going to be all right here. Now, if I was ever going to head out and the weather looked like it does now, this would not be the shelter I would probably choose. This is a very minimal shelter. Uh, I do believe though that 
it's great to have it on hand, A, as the regular poncho, of course, because it works great for that. But B, it'd also be great for a quick rain shelter, or if you were like out in Colorado or something where freak hailstorms can happen, I'd much rather set this up and let this take a beating than my actual shelter I'll be staying in. It really takes no time to set it up if you have all the strings already tied to it. You can just slap two pegs down the back, put your trekking poles under the front, pull your guys out, stick in your uh, anchor points, or tie it to a tree, use ridgeline style, and slap it up between two trees and then just relax and wait out the storm. Really, with this thing, I'm using the stakes off my land shan too. I have yet to buy stakes just for this because I want to order something crazy lightweight to put inside the package with it. That way it's an all-in-one shelter and poncho all at once. But for what it weighs and what it is, you can't really beat this little guy, especially in the winter when I ain't got bugs to deal with. All right guys, the Fancy Feast stove did a good job of heating up the water. As you can see, the gravy's thickened up real good in this. So essentially what this is, is waffles, chicken, and country gravy. Or white gravy, whatever you want to call it. Mm. That's good stuff. So, we probably should talk about what I'm sleeping on. My bottom layer is a layer of Reflectix. Next up, I got the regular old folding foam pad. Probably an R value at like 2.2, 2.5 between the two of them, I'd guess. Then you got your Peria 15 degree down quilt. So, I know that setup can go well below freezing, no problem. We're out gonna be on the line of freezing tonight, so it'll kind of work out right. Obviously, this is the 3F UL gear poncho tarp. You guys kind of knew that. <laughs> The weather definitely looks like it might turn. I'm spitting stuff everywhere. <laughs> but it definitely looks like it might turn on me. That's alright. I know that end of the tarp ain't going nowhere. It ain't hard to re -guy this out if it starts to act up and bring it down more and just tighten it out more. I just have to adjust this one corner and it'll adjust the whole thing. And with that stick actually being like a foot in the ground because it sunk, it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be a good night. Alright guys, so it's getting late. It's kind of at the point now where I might as well just go to bed. I kind of am provoked to go to bed even more because my wife promised me that in the morning she was going to have something good for me to eat and have me some warm coffee. So basically I just got to get up in the morning, talk to you guys, put my stuff away, and pack my butt back up the hill up to the house where my wife will have breakfast and coffee waiting for me. That's a good woman. Now I can tell you right off the bat, I have noticed when I was laying here watching my movie, I learned two things. One, I either need to start using a ridge line or find something to hook to that pole to hold my phone upward for me because laying on my side trying to watch it, it's just hard on the neck, man. You need to be looking up or like upward into an angle. So something I'm going to work on to figure out. I'll figure it out. You better believe that. But two, condensation. I need to pitch this thing just a little higher next time, um, which will take away some of my coverage, but it guarantees I won't bump it. You know what I mean? Because there's a little bit of condensation building up. Granted, the condensation, you know, humidity outside is like rocket high. The moisture in the air is really, really high. Like I said, it's supposed to rain or possibly snow. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm going to basically wrap this up, guys. Get into bed. Now, my little battery bank here is just about dead. 
and the ring light, which is why you can even see me, sucks a lot of juice reasonably considering how small that battery bank is. So I'm gonna spin the camera around. We're gonna play with the hyperlapse feature on my phone. And I just gave you guys a shot of me going to bed and however long the light lasts, it lasts. So I'll see you guys in the morning. morning guys I don't know if you can tell but it's a very foggy and overcast morning back here there's a lot of moisture um, I slept really good I woke myself up snoring just because of the humidity and all the stuff and uh, startled myself a little bit but other than that I mean I got no complaints this is a crazy moisture rich environment though tonight to be doing this but it came out okay there's a little bit of condensation it's not terrible my quilt did absorb a lot more condensation than normal but that wasn't to do with the tarp or anything I mean being exposed outside I'm sure had a little bit of factor but it is just so high in humidity and moisture and everything out here you're gonna have that there's no way around it I do like the poncho tarp as a shelter. also like the fact that it's the only way I can really beat my wife now that she has the Landsham Pro 1. And I really believe that I want to do more of this. I got to find an ultralight like net tent or ultralight bivy that's bigger because I don't like the ones that are real small and real tight. So if you guys have any ideas for something that will fit that bill under this poncho tarp that's got to be light. I mean really light let me know down in the comments I'll tell you that I think that there's better configurations to set this up with and I plan on doing more overnights with this before summer hits maybe we'll do one with my wife and let her take her land Chan one and I'll take this and we'll split the gear evenly and see what our weights are for base weight see if it's really that big a difference I know space saving, it'll be a huge difference because this thing can roll down small. It was a good overnight. I got no complaints. I'll be honest, I was kind of worried about taking this out in case something happened. But I think it's basically just like car camping with a roof over your head. I mean cowboy camping with a roof over your head. It, it didn't bother me a bit. And it's funny because here... There's more wildlife than most of the places we go and backpack, honestly. More wild wildlife. I can tell you I would love to have this thing at Dolly Sods and have an open campsite to where you could kind of just roll to one side and look up and be able to watch the stars or look out. You know, have a view open to the stars. Oh, sorry guys. Oh. I slept really good though, honestly. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna have to do this more. I noticed my buddy Ansel was looking at a setup that had a tent that had a fly that was separate, like it's like a tarp fly, and a, a net inner. And I couldn't figure out why he was into it. Now I'm starting to understand. There's something nice to an openness. I think I'm gonna have to try some more. And I have to get the other one. We got the other poncho tarp that I need to test too. I really want to find a different configuration. This isn't bad, but I can do better. I can do much better. And it's definitely long enough to cover your whole body. People were talking about they weren't sure it was going to be long enough. Unless you're pouring down rain or something, this would do. I mean, you don't want to take this out in like, when you know it's going to just pour the whole day. That would be silly. But if you've got pretty much clear looking weather, this would be a really fun thing to go out and do. Now I just got to get my wife on board with it. She's got this things where there, if there is no walls, it's not a tent. It's not a shelter. So let's see if we can convince her to go out and try this one night. 
But I appreciate you guys coming along with me. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this was helpful. If nothing else, maybe it was fun to watch. But I have breakfast and coffee promised to me. So I want to get this packed up, get my butt up to the house, and enjoy that. So if you're not already a subscriber, please take a moment, go down, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, right next to it, kick that little bell for the notifications. That way you'll see all of our upcoming trips, gear reviews, and any other wild things we get into. We'll see you in the next one.